Good morning, everyone. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Wednesday of Holy Week, traditionally called Spy Wednesday, in which we hear about the betrayal of Judas in the Gospel. It's a reminder to all of us that in our own sinfulness we betray God, and so it's a good example for us to see the, the difficulty of our sinfulness and the effects of our sinfulness in our world and in our relationship with God. Today is also a day in which the Jewish people begin their Passover, the great celebration of God's salvation to them in the passing over of the angel of death. So let us acknowledge our dependence upon God's saving power, acknowledge our sins, and ask for mercy and forgiveness. You are the source of all life and all love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ears that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove me wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, for your sake I bear insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumed me, and the insults of those who blaspheme, blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in your Lord, great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For counselor, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, <coughs> And is in your, your great, great love, love answer me. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Glory to you. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the feast day of the unleavened bread, the disciples <coughs> approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time draws near. In your house, I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. So here we are, about ready to enter into the Holy Triduum. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Saturday, the day in which Jesus laid in the tomb, and then, of course, rejoicing in Easter Sunday and the resurrection. And in this Wednesday of this Holy Week, we continue Jesus' ultimate journey into Jerusalem. And we hear of the betrayer, the one who handed him over. And it's ironic that Jesus is handed over, betrayed by Judas, as they prepare to celebrate Passover. Passover is the remembrance of the great salvation for the people of Israel, where the angel of death passed over the Jewish households because of the mark on the door. It saved them. And as Jesus and his disciples and all of the Jewish community begin Passover, this is when Jesus is betrayed. The angel of death does not pass over him. He enters into his great passion. And God can work with that. God does work with that. And God brings about salvation for all humanity. We all can enter into the betrayal of Judas as we celebrate the Eucharist today, thinking about the times and ways in which not only have we been betrayed by someone, but when we have betrayed another, they gave us some information and we use it against it, against them. They gave us some information and we shared it openly with others. People have entrusted things to us, trusted money to us, and we didn't give it back. We all participate in Judas's betrayal. But because of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection, and the experience of the resurrection, God's mercy is revealed to us that we don't have to give in to despair like Judas did. The first reading reminds us that the prophets suffered dearly in their proclamation of God's will and God's word. They were faithful, even unto punishment. Jesus, again in the gospel and in the passion story, is faithful to the will of the Father, even under great duress and even death. And yet God works through all of that and brings us salvation. So as we prepare to enter into the Triduum, these holy three days, we again look at our own sinfulness, our own betrayal of God, and ask for mercy and forgiveness. This year is so different 
because the sacrament like reconciliation is not available to the masses. But it's a wonderful time in prayer to say to the Lord, as we all should do anyway, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Don't give in to despair as Judas did. Know and rely on the great gift of mercy and forgiveness. So we celebrate this Eucharist in gratitude for the promise of the kingdom. And we celebrate this Eucharist open to the grace that God provides for us so that we can truly enter into the passion and the death of our Lord and rejoice in the resurrection. Let us take a moment and call to mind our needs and place our petitions before God. That we may place our trust in God and strive for fidelity to Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, for Francis, for our own Bishop Joseph, and for all the church leaders, that they will follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit as they lead us to church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil authorities, particularly leaders of nations, that they may use their skills and ability to help lead the people in unity, not only against this pandemic, but unity against violence with one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who have died, that they know the fullness of the kingdom of heaven, particularly in members of our family and those who are victims of this coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our young people, that in this time of worldwide pandemic, they may realize the availability of our God to be with us at all times. Even when we can't gather as domestic, as church, we gather in the domestic church and give glory to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work and care for the infirm, all the medical staff and first responders, that God's grace may guide them and protect them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us who celebrate this Holy Week, that we may, we may know God's merciful love and rejoice in the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and all-powerful God, we have voiced these many needs. We hold many more in our hearts. Hear them all and grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work in human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Please pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our, for our good and the good of all his holy, holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished 
and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on our journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, and he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and he gave you thanks. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by, by your cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life, and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis I, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people that you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and our sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and those who are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And, by, and may your church stand as a living witness to the truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your faith, and in your resurrection, Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Leo, our patron, and with all the saints, we praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord. 
Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we now have courage and the confidence to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with her spirit. Offer to one another a sign of Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sin of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are at home, let us pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus I believe that you are present in the, in the most blessed, blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Endow us, almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before we have our final blessing, again, I just want to thank you for your presence here in prayer today. We know that this is not ideal. This is not the best way to participate in the sacraments, but it is the way we can at this time. In a, in a while today, later on, I'm going to release my chat with the community. And in that chat, I'm going to share with you maybe some simple ways in which you can participate in the Holy Triduum, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in your own home domestic church, and to be able to watch and participate either through our website, through our presentation, or others around the world that are available to you. To enter into this Holy Week, this Triduum, and rejoice in Easter to the best of your ability, especially as a family in your domestic church. May God's guidance and blessings be with you. So I invite you now to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly in the Paschal Mysteries, 
and to await with longing the gifts to come, that preserving in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The celebration is ended. Let us go forth living our lives, proclaiming the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Enjoy today. Heavenly Father, bless our diocese with the grace of many vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life. Through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, grant to those you have called the willingness and generosity of spirit to give themselves in devoting their lives and their talents to the service of our Lord and to his church. Increase the faith of all within our diocese and especially the faith of those you are calling. We ask this through Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen.